point! Point! What's the score? 1,972 to nothing! You're cheating! It is not cheating to use your opponent's worst fears against them! That is called winning! Gah! Clown! Point! Keep it off me! I've got it under control. Don't worry. Don't worry? Beth, it would not be overstating things to say. I am more worried than a fish at a fishing convention who has had his intelligence increase so that he can understand what all those big hooks and knives are for. <laughs> so, we're on our way across the galaxy so that we can save a whole planet full of clowns. But for some reason... You don't think we should worry <laughs> that Danny is deathly afraid of clowns. Exactly. Trust me on this one, we're fine. We are not fine. We're pooched. On the contrary, we are not pooched in the slightest. Why? Because you and I are going to help Danny get over his phobia. Even if the cost is certain, bewildering death. If I die a bewildering death before we even get to go on the mission, I'm going to be pretty miffed. Also, if there was a chance we might all die, you should have told us to wear clean underwear. Clean underwear? Where we're going, we don't need clean underwear. Wait, where did Plum go? If they are not childish idiots, then why is the bathtub filled with children's toys? All I am saying is that you should be nicer to them. They are my friends, and sharing a body means sharing friends. Does that mean we should warn them about the ancient nameless evil that has been following the ship through the cold depths of space for the past hour? Oh, they'll figure it out. I don't want to seem like a know-it-all. Do you guys hear that weird sound? Well, that's it then. I think I'm freaking out. I think this is what freaking out feels like. Ah, dog garbage! Is this helping? Am I doing it right? Uh, uh. Wait, wait. I, I think it stopped. Yeah, I think it stopped. <laughs> I sort of waked out there. This is awkward. Ah! <laughs> oh, 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 giblets! <laughs> I'm too young to. <laughs> Do you hear them? <laughs> Why me? <laughs> Uh, you put spider eggs in his head? Mm hmm. Classic. Uh, uh, that. That was actually kind of fun. I don't understand how this will help with his clown phobia. How could anybody possibly still be afraid of something dumb like clowns after spider babies hatch in their brain? Did that come from outside? Oh, that's probably just the ship being wrapped in the death grip of an ancient and nameless evil from the depths of space. The what? Oh, I thought you knew. Danny, you sit this one out. The rest of us are going to put some new notches in our battle damage armor. I'm going to stay inside too, but you guys have fun. Am I a mom now? Meow. 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 Aw, it looks like a kitty, Meow. except it has two heads. Meow. Don't be fooled by its trickery. You heard, Plum. It's an ancient, unspeakable evil set on destroying us. Ooh, did I mention Meow? Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? I think so, Beth. But where would we even find mouse costumes in our sizes? This is so stupid. I should be out there helping my friends. How am I going to hold it together when we get to a whole planet full of clowns? Clowning is a virus, Daniel. An idea virus that spreads from world to world, infecting civilizations with a seemingly harmless urge to perform. It seems without consequence. At first, these entertainers feel healthy and happy, but they hunger. They hunger for the laughter of children. But the laughter of children is not enough still. They hunger. Was... was that supposed to help? Ugh! Why can't we be saving a planet full of cuddly squirrels or, or pretty ladies? I know what I have to do. He's toying with us! Or she! Oh, snap!
sniff! Maybe it isn't a boy or a girl. It's obviously not like regular kitties. Oh, no, now I keep saying it. I feel like a real jerk here, you guys. Should we ask? Is that polite? Hey, kitty, what pronoun do you prefer? Ooh, purr, purr, purr. Girl. What's he? Or she? Girl. Uh, I mean, what is the ancient girl. nameless evil looking at? There's nothing there. Girl. Well, this is unsettling. Girl. What would Danny do if he were here? Something fancy and high-tech, I bet. I think I can activate my suit's high-voltage electro-giggle stun shield. Wallow, can you be ready to- I have a plan. Hey, good-looking. I don't mean to sound forward, but are you currently dating anyone? Meow? Thanks for saving us, Wallow, and I'm sure you'll have a very nice time on your date. Yeah, that was some quick thinking. Thanks, man. I still don't understand if that was a boy cat or a girl cat. The problem with calling an ancient nameless evil for a date is the whole nameless part. Who do I ask for on the phone? Hey guys! Hey, you're back! What happened? Did you break the ancient curse by finally giving the creature a name? Were we supposed to do that? What's with the silly looking chapeau on your noggin? This is my clown sensor. It'll filter out any clowns I see before the image reaches my eyes and make them look less frightening. Technology crushes human weakness once again. The mission is saved. He won't let me try it. Also, it prevents anyone from putting spider eggs in my head. Ding, we've arrived. Ding. <laughs> That's a funny word. Ding. I don't think we should buy that discount computer food anymore. It's making him weird. Oh no, are those legs? Did we land on someone again? We're used to it. <sighs> I'm a little bit jealous, actually. Hey there! We're the Bravest Warriors! We're here to save you from your greatest enemy, Sadness! Shush! Don't say her name out loud! She'll hear you! What? But you said it yourself on the distress call, didn't you? All these questions! What are you, the Question Warriors? We need your help! What's your hat for? This is a very special hat that I made, so I don't have to look at you! Oh, hello! It's very nice to meet you, Beth! <laughs> Thanks, Wallow. It's very nice to meet you, too. Bravest Warriors, it's time for us to cheer up some clowns and chew bubblegum. And we're all out of bubblegum. No, we aren't. Here, we'll be able to get around much more quickly with these jetpacks. Let us now... Uh... Drift... Gently into action? First of all, let's throw these depressing violins into the violin holder. Which is what I call the garbage can. None of your tire swings have tires in them. But... There we go. Beth, you are my best friend, and my life is richer with you in it. But I have to disagree with you on this. Music can bring beauty to even the bleakest of days and bring hope to the darkest of hearts. So maybe the solution isn't throwing the violence away. Maybe we just need... MORE POWER! Whoa, whoa! What the heck do you think you're doing? Uh, we're cheering everyone up? Like you asked us to. Our problem isn't that we aren't cheerful. Our problem is sadness! But... What? I'm pretty sure those mean the same thing. We've always been this way. 
playing violins morosely and crying alone into our pillows at night? That's just who we are. Why would we want to fix that? What? You think just because you go around smiling and laughing all the time, that's the only way it should be? No, we didn't mean that. We thought you- That's kind of arrogant, isn't it? Why is it better to be like you than like us? And eventually, we realized that the whole planet was giving off strange radiation that made people act mean to one another. So do you know what we did then, boys and girls? Did you go home and cry? No. Did you write a poem about how you wanted to cry, but felt like you'd run out of tears? N no, we, we didn't do that either. Did you hit yourself in the head again and again because you were such a dummy that nobody would ever love you? What? No! We blew the whole planet up! Oh. What about the people who live there? That's an awful thing to ask. Now, before I go, let's play one more game. It's called, Did You Ever Think About How Big The Universe Is? And how we're all so small and meaningless and nobody will ever remember us when we're gone. Why are all those kids crying? Ah, uh, who knows why little kids do anything. What happened to you? I got in a fight with a tire swing. We've never needed a word to describe how we feel. We always feel this way, so we don't ever really talk about it. I don't understand. Then why did you send us the distress signal? I told you! We need your help! Our greatest enemy has returned! Sadness! Did I miss something? Wait, so Sadness is a person? No, not a person. God. Sadness is God of fear, and she is sending horrible nightmare creatures into our world. That's a really stupid name for a God of fear. What kind of horrible nightmare creatures we talking here? Those kind! Sweet potatoes almighty! <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>